Hey everyone, hope you're having a great day. Today we are going to make some globe circuits. These are a fun project to tie paper circuits into a geography project. Love adding anything to geography to help learn those countries, places around the world. And they're a great way for kids to mark where they're from in the world or mark where they want to be in the world or where they've been in the world, things like that. So we're making a really cool globe because we're taking something flat and turning it into something circular by making strips. And then we are putting little LED bulbs in the location where the kids are from. So let's get started. All right, let's get started making these really fun globe circuits. The first thing you're going to need is the template from the Steam Explorers magazine. Uh, what we're going to be doing is we're going to take this flat map and we're going to cut it into strips and turn it into a little globe. Because as you know, it's really hard to turn something flat into something round. So this is the process that we're doing to make that happen. Uh, the next thing you need, uh, if you're going to be cutting things into strips, a pair of scissors or you can use one of my favorite tools, which is a slide paper cutter. This is a really simple one, very uh, uh, kid friendly, super safe. It's not like the big ones you see at school. Um, so I like using those too. Um, then you're going to need a hole punch as we are going to be putting holes in the end of these strips so that we can connect them all into our globe. Then you need the stuff to actually connect your globe strips, which are these little brass brads. Uh, these are silver brads or something like that. Uh, you'll need two of them, one for each pole, the North Pole and the South Pole. And then you need your supplies for your circuits. We're going to be using uh, these nice five millimeter LEDs, uh, bulbs, that have pretty short uh, leads. That's these little metal pieces on the end. You also need a stick pin, uh, just like a little straight pin uh, for sewing, because it helps you punch holes into the paper to put your, your uh, LED bulb in. And then you need a coin cell battery. This is a CR2032, and those are the ones I typically use. They're uh, budget friendly, uh, have enough power for your circuits. And I want to interject here with a safety disclosure about coin cell batteries. Please be extremely careful with these, especially keeping them away from small children that still put things in their mouth, as they are extremely hazardous if swallowed. What I like to do actually is count my batteries before and after to make sure there isn't one kicking around, lying around for uh, someone to snag. All right, let's get started. So when you look at your template, you'll see there's some small gray lines on the outside. We're going to cut along these gray lines along the outside and just cut that white frame off your paper. Now, don't worry about being super precious and making these exactly right. It will work uh, even if lines are crooked and things like that. So you're going to cut off again one more edge here and then I'm just going to cut one more off and show you one more thing. All right. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, so now you'll see here on this printable, see there's some dotted lines. That's splitting up the map into your strips. So you're going to also cut down these dotted lines here. And you're going to cut it into 12 strips. One thing you'll also notice on here is there's some little numbers because good luck, this is a very really cool puzzle to put back together uh, without the numbers, but it makes it a lot easier to put it together with the numbers. Okay, so now what you're going to do now then is you're going to take your strip and also, let's see if I can get that focus for you there, um, you'll see there's a little circle on each end of your strip you're going to punch a small hole into each end, just like that. That will help you attach, so you can see there's two ends. It'll help you attach 
your strips together into your globe. Okay, so through the magic of video and prep work, of course, for this, I have already finished a bunch of these strips. So I'm gonna move this stuff aside. Don't need the scissors anymore, etc. Okay, so you got your strips. Now it's time to build your circuit, okay? So I'm in California. So the goal of this, of this is to mark your place in the world with a little LED bulb and say, I live here. And so I live in California, so I'm gonna find on the globe, which maybe would have been easier, FYI, had I found it before I cut it. But I actually live in strip two. I know that answer to that question. Here is uh, San, the San Francisco Bay Area there. So what I'm gonna do with that strip is, I'm gonna find my hometown and I'm going to poke two little holes side by side in that, that are approximately the same width as these little LED legs, lead legs. And I'm gonna pop that bulb in. So you see how it's sticking straight out? Okay. I'm gonna put that in so it's flush with the map like that, okay? Then you're gonna take this and you are going to bend these leads so they're basically flat with the paper. Let me turn this so that you can see. Flat-ish, you know, it's a project. You can, uh, it's all approximate. This is about the process, okay. And then I'm gonna take my LED battery, my LED battery, my coin cell battery, and I'm gonna pop it between the LED legs and see if it lights up. Oh no, it didn't light up. Guess what? That means you don't have your positive and negative terminals lined up. Flip your battery over, pop it in, and we have light. All right. So what you wanna do then is grab your clear, I'm just gonna put this down for a second, grab a piece of clear tape piece of clear tape and you're going to wrap your leads with this clear tape. Now this is not a project that has a switch or anything so if you're all done with it you can uh, pull the leads out off of the tape so that you don't wear down your battery. Okay so I've made a little sandwich with my LED in my strip. See like that. Oops there went my battery. Um, now I'm going to tape it down to the strip as well, okay? So I got the secured and power secured, battery secured. All right, now it's time to actually make your globe. What you want to do is grab one of these little brads and you're going to lay out your strips in number order. So I got one at the bottom there. I'm going to put number two where I live and stack these all up so that all the holes are lined up. Here, I got one strip out of alignment here. And it can, it can be, make it easier if you just do a few strips at a time. You're going to punch, not really punch, but you're going to push that brad through all of these strips. So see how I got them all stuck on there? And you're gonna open up this brad like this. Always easier said than done, right? On these little things. And then you can fan out and see your globe. But now you gotta do it on your south pole too. So take one more of these, line up your holes again on the bottom and close up your brad. Now that doesn't really look like a globe, does it? Here is the magic. As you rotate these around, this, you gotta separate them out, spread them out like this. This flat piece of paper map 
starts to turn into a globe. Yep. If you feel like you have a hole in it, you might not, you might have a couple of sheets of paper sticking out, things like that. Uh, or maybe you may have a place out of order. So if you're, it doesn't look consistent, like it's going in order, like Russia's all connected to Russia <laughs> and oh, suddenly France is sitting on top of Mexico, you might want to take a peek at it. Um, Cause it looks like I might have a little piece out of whack there too. So, but here is, what your globe looks like. Now, if you want to hang your globe, I did add one extra step to this. Oh, did I just find my missing strip? Did I find the rest of Greenland? <laughs> you can take a piece of elastic, tie a little knot on the end, pop it on here, and then you can hang your globe to display it. And that, my friends, is a globe circuit. Hope you have fun with this. Talk to you soon. Bye.